I'm looking for the Curious George exhibit. We looking for a man named Robert Freeman. Oh, hell no. Y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you telling me you know Robert then? Good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed mm -mm. ass to death. Whoop his ass, Rufus. Ooh. Hello and welcome back to another reaction video. This is your boy Bob. I'm back with another video from CJ the Champ. You already know how the title is. This is going to be a weird one for me because I do not know who this person is. But he's a personified of hatred. So, you already seen the title. I'm about to jump into this. So, let's get to it. Let's get it. Don't mind me, I, I got a little bowl of cereal, you know, over here doing a little eating this time. You know, got a little hungry, but yeah. Let's get into this. See what he talking about. Oh Lord. <clears throat> Hatred. To dislike a nigga intensely or passionately, to the point where you completely detest and despise that nigga on a daily Oh. basis now you hey. see ladies and gentlemen there are just many haters in fiction just in general for an example reverse flash i mean yo this man hates barry so much i don't even know if you call it hating at this point it's like a <laughs> severe case of meat munching or hell eating then obviously you know we got your do's your freezers your flat nose no nostril yeah. how does that smell and yo you even got your scars yeah <laughs> Scar, please help me! What the fuck? Pull me out! <laughs> Long live the king! Adios, motherfucker! Yeah, that's hot pretty well, much. Ladies went. and gentlemen, the man that we are focusing on today might be one of the most despicable, vile, disgusting, and ignorant human oh, beings really? to ever grace God's green earth. The personification of hatred, Colonel H. Stinkman. What? Never heard of him. Aye. Exhibit A. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. To understand the philosophy of stink meter and basically this entire video, ladies and gentlemen, I must explain to you the the moment. An altercation caused by ignorance overwhelming the logic otherwise rational thinking of a brother. Now watch closely okay. as I personally give you a demonstration. Oh shit. Hey, watch where you going, nigga. Hey, hey, what you say to me, cuh? Now, as Here we you go. see, these niggas is ready to pop a cap in each other's asses. So they start to get to blasting and miss every single shot like they just got off the set of A New Hope. And once they realize they just both... Oh, hold up. Hold up. Let me put my bow down. Yeah, what the hell? Okay. How the hell? How the hell? You up close on each other and then you still miss. Straight, straight, mid boy. This is going wrong already. Wasted each other's time. They end up figuring out that they just wasted their life away. Freeze! Wow. Now, since we have more of an understanding of what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen, meet Colonel H. Stinkmeter. Now, even back in his okay. childhood, Stinkmeter was always an old, hating, bitter ass. Damn, he's he like, he mean right there. Sceneries, sunsets, rainbows. He just disliked happiness in general. Man, this some more bush. At age 15, Stinkmeter lost his eyesight to cancer. But the thing is, he oh. didn't care. He was just glad that he ain't had to see sh no more. So doctors only gave what? him three years left to live. So he decided for those three years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and Oh my God, Are you serious? And the thing is, people don't even know how he lived to become an old man. All they just say is bro is basically a Sith Lord. The hatred drove him to live every single day. Now later on, we see this beat up ass pickup truck driving like a Nissan <laughs> Ultima in Atlanta, not giving a care in the world. Jesus Christ, it's like truck who done possessed this man. Oh my God, yo! What is with everybody in Ultima Jail for real? Everybody, I mean, he's not the only one. It's like there's some other people that been talking shit about Ultima drivers and stuff like that. They be driving like 
real crazy, real mean. But I mean, it is true. It is true. I've seen some awesome drivers in my area that be driving all crazy. But nonetheless, everybody be talking mad junk about ultimate drivers and stuff and here he go and wait a minute as i'm now thinking about it who in the hell gave this old blonde nigga a driver's license whoever i know right this sh you should be ashamed of yourself now as we can see this man is speeding through a parking lot going at least 50 and he starts bagging in the gray ass car and he's like hmm, there better not be nobody in my park okay i was gonna sit up there and ask where it came from but looking at the sketches and I just saw a couple of the main characters I already know it's from Boondock, so. So, yeah, I'm about to get the rundown on that. And you are too if you don't know who he is. Parking spaces is handicapped. So this man gets out of his car and he's like, Who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling mm -hmm. when they have to collect an ass whooping. Partner. So Granddad says, Yo, bro, are you blind? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Yeah, mm. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, Robert Freeman has been trapped in a moment. So Huey says, yo, you could have killed somebody. And this man stink meaner like, oh, I'll be doing them a favor. Getting ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ coming down himself and giving you holy communion. Oh, Lord, look what? what you did to my car. Brother, you best have insurance. Nigga, you better have insurance. Ass whooping insurance, because you about to pay a deductible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, mm. granddad can either do two things right now. He could do A, walk away and let insurance handle it, or yep. B, fight with an old crazy blind man. And uh, let's just say this brother chose B. So Stink Meter he just starts me. pressing him. He just starts spitting in his face. He like, what you gonna do, huh? Punk ass, pussy ass, jazz, punk ass, bitch ass. Mm. Ah! You gonna ah. do something about it? All that damn spit. Ass, and then Stink Meaner ends up doing one of the most evil, demonic, and despicable things you can ever do to one of them. Hold up. I smell new shoes. This man's no, he ain't. No, he ain't. No, the fuck he did. Bro. Oh, he about to get his tail whooped. He about to get his ass whooped. For real, for real. All white forces. Bruh, I don't even wear white shoes, but I try not. I try my best not to even scuff up nobody else's white shoes. Cause I, it, white is hard to keep clean. But when you just go up there and you just step on this dude's shoes, yeah, you asking for your ass to be beat for real, for real. Oh hell no! Nah, bro. bro, this is the most disrespectful thing you could ever do to a man, bro. Bro, I just bought these hoes from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. And nah, nah, if you replay it back, look how we stepped on it. Bro, pulled back his whole leg. Had that whole hole at a 90 up. degree angle. And went, yeah! Nah, bro, that's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. And he like, yeah, they ain't new anymore, are they? Yeah, God. So then, mm. this was the final straw that made Granddad take. So Granddad swing at him, but we what dodges it? He missed. Like, ah, yeah! <laughs> oh, Lord. And it was on his bad knee. Jesus Christ, my brother, you just got your ass beat by an old blind man. So Huey had to nah. stop. He was like, nah, bro, this over. So later on, after Grand, This software makes your business more profitable mm. instantly. Step one, add each of your funnel steps. Step two, add the price. Granddad was just fully embarrassed. Everybody just start making fun of him. Riley's like, eh, could it be me getting my ass whooped by a man? Nigga? Then later that night, while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, look on the news and he like, this just in. A fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man and another unknown assailant. And it wasn't wow. just local news. CNN was reporting on it and international news. Brother got man, in Mexico up. City calling him a piñata. So then the phone started ringing and guess who left a voicemail? Hello, Robert. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Now, I oh saw my you get your yeah. ass beat by that old blind nigga on the news. And I know you must be feeling embarrassed right now. So you know what would cheer you up, Robert? Some KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Robert, hello? Really? 
Don't you walk away from this ass machine. So it got so bad to the point that later on, Granddad ended up going back to the mall, found Stink Meaner, and challenged him to a fight. So Granddad started training thinking really? he Ali or something, because Huey was like, Granddad, you don't know what you're doing. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream about him the other night. He's like that. And then on the other side, you got Riley ignorant ass promoting this like we about to watch Jake Paul know, right? versus Andrew Tate or something. So now it's the night of the fight and it is packed. That was a Riley good one, out though. here overcharging for ten dollars. So they start squaring up and stink. Really? Like, yeah. You scared? You scared? Ain't your bitch, Nika? Yeah, I can smell the right off of you. <laughs> That's vintage. So he starts swinging and then Huey ends up realizing, oh my god. This ain't no trained blind samurai. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. He was just a blind old man that just got lucky. So he was like, mm -hmm. wait, hold on, granddad. But it was too late. Finish him. Granddad mm. started whooping that cat. Wow. So I gave him a sure you can it. And started kicking up like oh my God. Ring. And then granddad loaded up and knocked Ooh. him out. Oh, he said he hit him with that tiger knee, boy. For real. That's my man, Saget, boy. Ooh, boy. Fatality. Wow. And he didn't just knock him out. Granddad killed him. What? All because he got trapped in a nigga moment. So, yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. Exhibit B? The hell? All right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B, The Return. So as we know, Stink what? Meaner died. But little did we know, this was just the beginning. This man is in hell training with the devil. Bro is washing Are you serious demons, right now? And even the devil said, He's the baddest motherfucker I've ever seen. This man got the devil to acknowledge that he is the baddest he's ever seen. That is the most legendary joking, feat right? of all time. He even called the devil a bitch ass nigga. So the devil's like, Cuddle H. Stink Meter, I am now sending you back to spread ignorance and hatred in the black community. Are you serious? Ah, hell ain't shit. I'm coming for you, Freeman. So meanwhile, we cut over to Tom, who is basically the equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. But even Stink Meter knew that every brother's spirit is weakened during a nigga moment. So this dude ends up cutting off Tom and taking his parking oh. spot. So Tom's like, hey, hey, come on, man, you nigga poop. You, you can't do that, hey. Hey, hey, come back here. <laughs> I have my turn signal on and everything. But then the dude turn around and just start cussing him out. He like, F you punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass nigga. I'll beat your mother to the ass yes, nigga. Don't ever mm -mm -mm. your life ever holler at me, nigga. Now, as we can see, Tom has been trapped in a nigga moment. And this know, was right? a perfect time. For Stink Meaner to make his move. Oh, what did you wow. say, nigga? So this what? Man, what? WWE dropped drop this man. Oh. And he's like, oh, yeah. Look at you. You was talking all that good shit a second ago, and you got kicked in your chest. You eat a dick, nigga. You eat a dick. Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry. Oh, so, so, somebody call an ambulance. Hey, hey. Oh, my God. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, Tom has been possessed by Stink Meaner. So this man Stink Meaner got him acting up in the courtroom. Bert got up in there and said, F your court, nigga. <laughs> then later on, bro goes home <laughs> to Tom's wife. And he's like, oh yeah, I want to beat up them booty cheeks. Oh, Tom, what has gotten into you? The same thing that's about to get into you. And he beats his wife's cheeks up. Uh, Oh my god. Oh my god, yo. Evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to beat up on your girl Doonies. Nah, but it's crazy. So then later that on, is crazy. Stink Meter pulls up to Robert's house. Now, I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet, but the sensor <laughs> bar is going crazy right now. So Dog starts tearing the door down with an axe and he's like, mm. I'm back. Yeah. Like, yo, what in the shining is going on right now? So granddad started running down the steps. Wow. Jesus Christ, this man's whole package is hanging out. So Steve Meter saying, you don't remember me? You don't remember my name? Oh, he remember your name. What's my name, nigga? <laughs> What's mm. my name, Robert? What's my name? So then Huey finally says his name. He's like, ding, ding, ding. That's right, nigga. 
vehicle. Then all the Freemans get ready to jump him. So they get the strap and this man's stink meter going crazy. Bro, a body huge. Wow. Smack Riley around. And he is still continuing to body the whole family. Look at this chop. <laughs> then he like, is that all y'all got? <laughs> yeah. Look at this backhanded Huey. Oh my gracious. So they finally end up yeah. pinning him down and Riley had to smack this man with like three faces to finally just knock him out. So wow. Later on, they got him restrained on this bed and Robert is having this date. So in the middle of his date, Stink me to wake up and he like, Robert, uh -oh. I know you hear me, you bitch. Man. I know you ain't paid your taxes yet. Oh, yes, what boy. is that? Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, oh, no. I know you hear me, Robert. I know you didn't vote this year, you lousy nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, my wait, God, yeah. So they end up having to call the Catholic Church to exercise this man. So there was only one man that could save the day. May God bless you, Robert. I came as fast as I could. So let's go ahead and get down to business. Removing the evil spirit from the brother is as hard as getting rid of a hunk of shit. So we must use these holy weapons from God himself. A bunch of weapons that I will not say because dear God, I will get demonetized. The brother will make what? excuses. If he get desperate, that brother may try to rap. Oh, yes, you can hear it. Robert, I, I know you got bad credit. So they get up in this room, and Ruckus pulls out the Bible and says, Read, the read. Oh. And then they start beating this man on the bed and saying some phrases that I, I'm going to be honest with you. I know I'm not the most family friendly, but uh, I, I, I ain't saying it. But then Huey ends up realizing wow. this ain't doing nothing. So they kept on doing this for like several hours. And then they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel his spirit was to create peace with him. And the only way to do that was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers. And that finally ended up exercising wow. his spirit and sending him back down to hell. Exhibit C. Wow, again. Got a technical background, looking to go remote and get paid more. Become wow. a software engineer. A third All one. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit, exhibit C, C. The Hateocracy. So even though that stink meaner is now long dead and gone, he still had a crew that wanted to come back and get it back in blood. Ladies and gentlemen, Man. meet the Hateocracy. A group of bitter old hating ass niggas consisting of Colonel H. Stinkmeaner, Lord Rufus Crabmeister, Lady Esmeralda Gripe Nasty, really? and Mr. George Pistofferson. Now you see, they all met at a retirement home and they all hated each other. But the thing they had in common was that they hated- Okay. Please tell me those are not the real names. Please tell me that. Because if those are the real names, boy, somebody had a field day with them names. Stink meter? Yeah, I can get that one. But the other ones, bruh, that's a whole lot of names to be keeping up with. Did everybody else even more? So they decided to cause complete chaos. Oh my God, there you home. go. Look at them stealing jello and crashing bingo parties. B4, B4. Bingo, nigga. <laughs> now what the f I win? Give me that shit. Eventually, it got to the point where they had to kick him out. But that didn't stop them because they rolled that was the part of the plan. A decade causing chaos. Eventually, till they split up. But because of the death of Stink Meaner, the Hateocracy reunited to get it back in blood. So meanwhile, we cut over to Ruckus working at this gas station, and this black car pulls up. So they come up to the door, and Ruckus is like, "Oh hell no! What the hell y'all want? We looking for someone? Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all looking for? The Curious George exhibit? We looking for a man named Robert." Freeman. Oh, hell no. Y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you telling me you know Robert then? Good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed mm -mm. ass to death. Whoop his ass, Rufus. Ooh. My Breaking God. news, man at a gas station was jumped by three assailants in black. The victim, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. Oh, Lord, that, that, that was three of them. Oh, they, they must have escaped from the zoo or something. Them damn wild Bruh, animals. Police he cracked that face, boy. Still at large. So, yeah, man, uh, Ruckus got jumped. 
So later that yeah. day, George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, oh, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right. We're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing, obviously, something ain't right. So they go outside, and there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill wow. y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh, no, nah, no, nah, G. If I see a pair of 75-year-olds <laughs> moving like this, I already know I'm about to get my ass whooped. So they start yes. to scrap it, and they is teeing off. Oh, my God. And look at Esmeralda. Oh, Lord, she beat me. Give them the hands. Oh, and a uh, fun fact. She hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hit Sasuke with. But she hit him with that gripe nasty variant. So Huey and Riley just got absolutely body here. John Riley got his brain, bro. Hey, at least Huey put up a fight. But they ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, while this was happening, Robert ends up going fishing. But he ends up running into Rufus. So he's like, come on, how are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir. Do you know a man by Sting me there? Oh, wait. You already should, because you killed him. Robert Freeman! So, bruh, start swinging Wow. This. I don't even know what that is. So, Robert start getting to step. But dude ended up wrapping him up in the thing. But Robert kicks the barrel of crabs in his face. Oh, Lord. So later on, he ended up hiring Bushido Brown to be a bodyguard. So the hate-ocracy ended up pulling up to their house. So they start getting ready to jump this man Bushido uh -oh. Brown. But he low-key started working him. Oh, my God. Look how he beat old girl. Beat the wow. wind that bitch. Then he went, boom. <laughs> then he hit him with the finish. Oh, God. Nah, wow. Bro, this man Bushido Brown was cold. But I say was because uh, that nigga's life was past tense. Bro, this caught that man lacking. Oh, my God. Come on. <laughs> you know, you got to censor a lot of stuff now on YouTube because uh, you're that new policy. You don't want to make Mama Susan mad now, do you? Come <laughs> so on, man. Granddad started apologizing. He's like, okay, bro, listen, listen. I'm sorry I killed Steak Meaner. I am sorry I had a Man. Things were going good, man. Today said the chop dude head off, yeah. They ain't had to do that, man. They did not have to do that. Moment. But then they end up saying, mm, we don't give a f about no stink meaner. I beg your pardon? What? Yeah, he was our nigga, but it don't matter. We just came to f shit up. What? No. No, bro. Nah, this bro. whole time you thought, oh, they coming back to get it back in blood. No. They literally came and did all this. All for sh and giggles. Nah, bro, this is crazy. That's just hating to another level. So they about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the stink meaner saga finally came to an end. Psych! Exhibit, Exhibit D. Come on, Ladies and Seriously? gentlemen, welcome to uncharted territory. The territory where legends are made. Welcome to Exhibit D. I now present to you the clone. So you see, Steak Meaner clone. wasn't done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Steak Meaner answered the ad on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com and the government really? made a clone of him. So he gets his note from the original Steak Meaner and it says, Dear Clone Me, go f with that nigga Robert from OG Steak. So later on, Robert is at the mall and he sees the back of his car is rammed into again. And guess who did it? What's good, Robert? That's Are you serious? The same way. Car, and I didn't even want to park there. I just wanted to f up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's like, oh, nah, bro. I ain't having this today. I'm just going to have to kill you again then, huh? So they get the scrapping and this man's stink meter is moving. And he's like, oh, yeah, the government gave me some augmentation. Look at that headbutt. Judo throw. Sidekick. Boom. And people recording. Recording. Bodied, man. I seen that. So you know this episode was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the cops ended up coming and stopping this fight. But no, no, it wasn't over. Because later on, he get this call on Skype. <laughs> Skype. Any of y'all remember Skype, man? Not yeah, fact. I remember Anybody Skype. even still use Skype? But anyway. Nope. Steak me on the phone and he like, what's good, nigga? Just to let you know, we gonna have a rematch. And I done already told the whole world about it. So if you don't show, you a bitch. So they ended up having another altercation, but Robert called the cops and they ended up arresting Stink Meaner. But then 
this is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunsler pulls up to Robert's house and he's like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink okay. Eater. So uh, I bailed him out. And now we're going to have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making this a the whole hell? fight, a televised event with promotional material and everything. But while Robert was training for this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side <laughs> was taking over and he was slowly becoming more like stink meaner so it's the night of the fight and you could obviously see the difference in him man's got the ball spot and everything bro became what he wanted to destroy so they start to fight and oh, robert just we go. Him in the face so stink meaner like oh i see you must have took some karate classes or something ah! so yeah bro wow. this wasn't even a fight robert gave this man the most absolute beat down of the century but the thing is that you have to think about though this isn't really robert all this is is just robert under stink meaner's influence he ended up becoming what he wanted to destroy an old hating ass nigga. so here we ended up having to stop and he's like granddad this ain't you stop man and yo look at Oh, crowd, bro. It's just silent. And then this man, Ed, like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator clash fight. A flop. It was only fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. All right, everybody, pack it wow. up. Let's count up the pay per view sales. So then Robert told Stinkminer, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stinkminer, like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. <laughs> nah, bro. So you telling me this man could have just stopped all this hating if you just asked him? Nah, that's crazy. So we cut three months later. And this man stink meaner outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, wow. why you don't ever invite your more stink over? That's f***ed up, Robert. So Robert I comes know, man. And he's like, get off my property. And stink meaner say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life, Robert. See you tomorrow at 7. Man. Okay, so that was a good one. That was the longest exhibits I've ever seen in any of his videos, all the way to exhibit D, like seriously. Bro, like I never knew homie was like that in boondocks or whatever, you know? I seen a little bit of boondocks. I haven't seen all of it, but I know I seen, I seen a little bit enough or whatever. But man, I haven't even came across it. Haven't even came across a, a episode with him in it, so we look forward to looking, you know, looking at episodes with him in it and stuff like this, so I can see what really went down. But other than that, if you're new, thank you for joining me on this video. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, and make sure you, you know, share it around and leave some comments, you know, comment on any type of video you want me to react to. If you're already part of the crew, you already part of the Legion. I appreciate you very much and keep it up. Other than that, I'm Bob. I'm signing out. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.